Shalom unto the elect of the nation of Israel, which we're considered the 144,000 and the one third that's destined to be saved. That's a so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American descent by the seed of your father. And furthermore, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off by giving all praises unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka Ha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone that teach in their Ruel today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide in all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Shalom. <clears throat> uh, so basically, I'm just going to get into a quick lesson going into how the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God, okay, which his name is Yahweh in the Pillar of Hebrew, meaning he is or he exists, and his son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, which his name, okay, the true name, okay, of the Heavenly Father's son is Yahweh Shai. In the Hebrew as well, meaning he is the deliverer. Okay. And Yahweh Bashmi Shai is only coming back to deliver the nation of Israel, which once again, which were considered so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent. And at this time, the elect, okay, the 144,000 and the one third, okay, that's destined to be saved. Mean, mean wise, okay, or otherwise, two thirds, according to Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8, of Negro, Latino, and Native American descent of Israel is going to be destroyed, man. Okay? And, you know, getting into the lesson, the Heavenly Father has set up the prophets, okay, by the way of the highways and byways, doing the street ministry, okay? And also, <clears throat> by the way of the word being pushed, on the internet, okay? As you know, as we know to doing you know, sit downs. And Yahweh Bashim al Shah raised up the prophets to give that warning in the form of um, blowing the trumpet, man, okay? And uh, another title for, the, for a prophet is a watchman. Cause you had back in the ancient days, when you had a watchman that was, that was on his post on the high tower, Okay, that was, you know, observing, looking for any um, uh, invasion, okay, when it comes to war, <clears throat> okay? And you had the watchman that had the, the trumpet, the blown, the, okay, that particular sound of warning, danger, okay, it's ahead. And that's what the Lord is doing with his men, okay? That's, all, that's out there on the highways and byways. And once again, doing these videos, man, we're here to give that warning. Okay, because we're approaching the time of Jacob's trouble, okay, which is known in <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Okay, hey, we're giving that warning uh the coming of uncivil unrest, okay, a financial crash, okay, the um, the time of martial law, concentration camps, pestilence, famine. You know, all these are the judgment and the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Shai, in particular, that's coming into that's coming to this place, America, which is known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures, man. Okay? Cause ultimately this place, America, is gonna be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire at the peak of the Third World War. Okay, which is prophecy. Okay? And we're giving that warning. Okay, we're giving the warning about the the so-called white race. Hey, just like that. Now I'm outside, you know, in gunfire. Okay? Hey, that show you, man. Okay, we in the time of uh, great judgment. Okay? You know, the time of uh, 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 anarchy that's about to take place, man. And all hell ain't even break loose, man. Okay, you starting to see people more and more bugging out. Senseless murders. Okay, shootings. Okay? Uh, uh, heinous crimes, man. Okay? Hey, so that's why we're constantly giving that warning. Okay, like I say, you know, I'm just going through the spirit doing the lesson. 
you know, outside, you know, trying to enjoy the weather, okay? You know, in the area where I'm from, okay, normally it's Jake in the neighborhood, okay? And it's very normal, normally to hear gunfire, okay? Like I said, the area that I'm from here in South Carolina, uh, uh, Midlands, okay, part of the Midlands branch, you know, where I stay at, man. Lately, man, the crime has been ramping up, man, okay, shootings, okay, innocent bystanders, which we know all of it's the, the will and judgment of Yahweh Bashim Shai. okay? But wait the all hell break loose, man. And who gonna be affected the most? You Israelites, okay? Mainly the two-thirds, man. As I've been getting into, hey, the biblical Edomites, the so-called white race, these elites, ready to come with their NWO, ready to come with the, the lockdowns, ready to come with martial law, the implementation of the RFID microchip which is known as the mark of the beast in Revelation chapter uh, 13, verse 16. Okay, hey, these are times that we're appointed to, man. Okay, when it comes to biblical prophecy. Okay, and once again, starting with us or the hopeful elect that has been called when it comes to this ministry, hey, we out there to blow that trumpet to give a warning. Okay, and I'm going to start off with uh, Amos chapter 3, verse uh, 6. And it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Okay. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, have not done it? Hey, so when it comes to the wrath for Yahweh Bashim Shah, the judgment is the will, okay, of the Heavenly Father when it comes to good or evil, when it comes to life and death, okay? And the point I want to get was a hey, blowing the trumpet, okay, is is symbolic for the prophets out there giving that warning. On the highways and byways, and doing videos, man, of coming of uh, 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 the wrath for Yahweh Bashim Shah. Okay, like I say, part of that wrath is the Lord going to use Esau Edom to come in as that that uh, that sword. Okay, by the way of uh, 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 martial law, coming in as a flood, man. Okay, where there's lockdowns, curfews, travel bans, where there's no more mirth, no more folly. But we in the time to come in a, a, a summer, okay, you got graduation going on, prom, vacations, people, you know, setting uh, reserves for uh, um, cruises, okay, family reunions, okay, gathering, okay, cookouts, okay, the coming of the summer of these uh, holidays, okay, you got Memorial Day coming up, okay, you got the 4th of July coming up, Labor Day, okay? When it comes to these feast days, okay, or, or wickedness, or pagan customs, that normally the average American look forward to when it comes to uh, uh, mirth, okay? Eating, drinking, mar marriage, okay? Partying, okay? But in the meantime, the Lord have his men out there blowing that trumpet in the form of teaching his word and giving warning. And teaching about repentance, man. Okay? So that's it on that. I'm going to get another one. Hey, because judgment is coming. And we on, the, we on the step of it, man. The beginning of it. With that Joel 2 and uh, 1. And it says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Sound an alarm in my mountain. And they go that trumpet again. Okay, the alarm. Okay, the sound of alarm or warning. Okay, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Hey, when our people see us out there on the highways and byways, all this word being pushed on the internet, they got to come to the point that they're supposed to tremble. Okay, when we tell them about the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But what, what, what the majority of our people, they're non believers. They push the day of the Lord off. Okay, even though they're seeing things happening within the earth, within the world within society okay all this the uh, uh death okay all these crimes all this wickedness that's being pushed but not to the point that people just sensitize man okay just a new norm okay and now people just look at it as you know not seeing it as the will of that the heavenly father and his son the power Yahweh the god of the bible is bringing destruction man Okay, so when they see the prophets out there, they post a tremble. Okay, but majority of our people, they, they scoff, they scorn, they make mockery. Okay, 
And it says, Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. And we know that through the signs, through prophecies, that majority of our people are not watching for, man. Okay, because they're blind. Okay, but us are the hopeful elect. And we're paying attention. We've been on our watch, man. Okay. But once again, our people come against the prophets, man. Okay. Matter of fact, let me get this. Uh, second uh, Chronicles chapter 36, verse 15. And the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, God of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers, okay, the prophets, raising up B times. Yeah, B times meaning before. Okay, the Lord gave that warning. Okay, or what's to come, a prophecy. Okay, before the Lord bring the judgment. Okay, raising up B times and sending. Okay, by the Lord sending his men out there on the highways and byways. And his word being pushed because he had compassion on his people. Okay, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, you Israelites. This is the form of compassion the Lord had for you in the form of the prophets giving that warning. Okay, the Lord used the prophets to be his mouthpiece, man. Okay. And it says, and on his dwelling place, but they mocked the messengers of Yahweh by Shemyawashai and despised his words and misused his prophets. Until the wrath of the Lord rose against his people till there was no remedy. Okay, so because it's gonna come a time when the Lord will remove his men. Okay, remove this word off the uh internet, off the highways and byways. Okay, which goes into Amos 8 and 11, the famine of the word. Okay, and once the Lord sealed the elect, which we believe that the Lord is uh at that point, okay, that's when all hell gonna break loose, man. And the ones of our people that's not covered, hey, they're gonna be judged. Okay, and ain't gonna be no excuse. Okay, because his word has been pushed. Okay, not only here and alone in America, but worldwide, courtesy to the internet, man. Okay, matter of fact, let me get this. This is Romans, Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So faith, so then faith come by hearing. If by hearing the word of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, and how can you hear the word? By the way of the prophets, man. Okay? And like I say, courtesy mainly by the way of the internet. Okay? And it says, But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily. Their sound went into all the earth by the way of the internet in this time. Okay? And their words unto the ends of the world. Okay? So this word has been pushed worldwide, man. Okay? You got canceled. And, you know, brothers waking up worldwide, going out there teaching this truth, okay, outside of America. Okay, so ain't going to be no excuse, man. Okay, it's a known fact now that the uh, people know about the, the, the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, even though we come to the point that they demonize the truth, and that's part of the, the ministry. Okay, the time of persecution. Okay, but there ain't going to be no excuse that our people didn't know about their inheritance. They didn't know about repentance. Okay, they didn't know. That the you know when it comes to the judgments that's happening, and and, and, and when it's intensifying more and more in the near future, that this Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is doing it. Okay, ain't gonna be no excuse. Cause the Lord bring forth judgment every day, man. Okay, let me get this. Like I said, I just going through the spirit. You know, just hit the button. Okay. And Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter three verse five. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do he bring it for judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust know no shame. Okay, and that's two-thirds of our people at this time. Okay, they won't have no shame when it comes to their sins. Okay, they're not in the spirit of repentance. Okay, feeling sorrowful. Okay, for their sins. Okay, not come back and acknowledging you how about Shemiah was shot. But one of the furthermore trust in Esau, Edom. Trust in America. Trust in the, the, the financial system. Uh, uh, trust in these false gods. Okay, these false uh, false gods, these idols. Going after the ways of the heathens. Doing it, doing uh, contrary to the ways of the law, statutes, and commandments. And, and, and the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Therefore, the Lord bringing judgment every day. Okay, but the unjust know no shame, man. The two-thirds, man. Okay, but us that's in the faith, we know the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? So that's it on that. 
And uh, let me get this. Um, with a second, I'm gonna get this real quick. Second edges, chapter nine, verse on um, nine. Second edges ninety nine. Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. Okay, going to the two thirds. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Okay, like I say, man. Okay, coming in time of martial law, civil wars, race wars, the third world war. Okay, the, the coming of a draft. A lot of people going to be drafted. Okay, the coming of uh, famine, pestilence, famine and, and the pestilence, that's torment. Okay, teeth of wild beasts, natural disasters. Okay, judgment. In these concentration camps, they got uh, execution methods. Torfit, torture methods, okay? And the only ones that's going to be delivered is the elect, man, okay? Because two-thirds of our people just um, being despiteful, okay, and have abused the ways of Yahweh Bashim as this grace period is open, okay? Okay, when it comes to this word, uh, and it says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, okay? And then, yeah, once again, the money, certain aid okay when it comes to you men women and children of israel man okay when it comes to the the wicked of our people the, the ones that don't subscribe to themselves as being israelites or they in heritage or not acknowledging how about shimei was shy okay so they don't know the heavenly father okay if they don't know the heavenly father and the son by the way of them not taking heed to the prophets man okay Verse 11, and they that had lost my law, while they had yet liberty, okay, righteous freedom, okay, the grace period. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despise it. The same must know it at the death by pain. Okay, so that, you know, straight to the point. The Lord bring a judgment. Okay. Now I get this, now I get ready to close. This is 2nd Edges chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. The word prophecy means to say before. And we speak into the ears of you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans of uh, what's to come. Okay, great judgment before the kingdom. Okay, before Yahweh Shai established the kingdom, man. Okay, the kingdom of Israel. Okay, but only the elect is going to be delivered. Okay, two-thirds of our people are going to have to perish on this side or in this lifetime and come back in the kingdom, okay? By being the sons and daughters, the offspring of the elect, okay? Because the kingdom is going to be here on the earth. And it says, which I will put in thy mouth, say the Lord. Okay, the Lord is doing that by the way of the prophets, okay? And cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true, okay? The Holy Bible, okay? Fear not their imaginations against thee, let not the equality of the untrouble thee. Yeah, the unbelief. The word equality mean the unbelief. Okay? So we're not, us that's in the faith that has been called and part of the ministry, and we're not supposed to be uh, 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 in, a, in a spirit of fear when it comes to majority of our people that come against the truth as we're out there on the highways and byways or they scoff and scorn on the comment. Okay? Or they doing videos to, you know, that debunk the truth. Okay? And it says, continuing on, and it says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, okay? And that's the two-thirds right now, the non-believers, man, okay? You know, you know, so basically that's the, you know, end of the lesson. You know, like I said, I just want to get, you know, straight to the point, going into how the, the Lord used the prophets, okay, in the form of blowing the trumpet to give that warning, man. Okay, we're coming in the time of the, the, the collapse of America, Babylon and Greek. The time of Esau, Edom, the so-called white race, and these elites ready to move with their agenda of the NWO, being spread, uh, spearheaded, okay, by the MOTB being implemented, okay, that, that the next digital currency that going to replace the physical dollar, okay, we coming in the time of civil unrest, race wars, uh, clash wars, okay, martial law, okay, famine, pestilence, you know, the time of judgment, okay, the third is world war. And ultimately, the ones of our people that take that MOTB, 
they're going to be destroyed by those missiles. When Yahweh shall return to bring salvation only to the elect. Okay, because the elect is not going to take the MOTB, which they are exempt from judgment. Okay, but the ones of our people that do, hey, their judgment is being destroyed by the missiles. Okay, when Yahweh shall return with the heavenly hosts, or uh, what the world call UFOs, which are the chariots, the vehicles of the angels, man. Okay, and also the salvation of the elect of, of Israel. So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. And I pray that the lesson be edifying. Until next time, Lord willing, Shalom to the elect. Shalom.